Okay. There we go. Good. Welcome everybody to tonight's version of Peek into Pink. We are so, so excited that you are here and taking time. Guest, I just want to first address you. Thank you. Thank you for taking time to invest in us being with your consultant. We don't know. This could be the time that peeking in would be a time that you're going to open the door and step in and be a part of us. But it is a part of the process of us sharing our story that helps us along the journey and us being brave to ask you and you being a part of the process and saying yes. So you are part of the process no matter where you are on this continuum. And thank you for investing your time to be a part of us tonight. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna tell you a little bit about the company. And then I have the honor that you are gonna hear from myself, but also more importantly, gonna be hearing from a person who has literally made millions. Yes, I did use the M word millions in Mary Kay. Um, so we're going to have a chance to share a little bit about our journey, about what it's like, what, what we have started in Mary Kay, what it was like, so that you can see, hey, what, is, what does this sound like to be a part of Mary Kay? And, and why now might be a good idea for you to be a part of it. So just to kind of let you know about where that all is. So we're going to start sharing a little bit about the company as we get started. Um, that Mary Kay was actually started by a real woman, Mary Kay Ash, in 19 1963, she did start it on a Friday the 13th because she believed God first, family second, career third. And if God is first in your universe, there is no such thing as luck. So Friday the 13th to her was like a perfect day. She started it in downtown Dallas. They had nine people on the sales force and one storefront. What she wanted to happen was to have a place to enrich women's lives. She'd come out of a direct selling company background. And a lot of times she was being passed over simply because she was female, not because she didn't have the talent, because actually for the second time, she had actually trained men in the sales force. They had come back to corporate office. They were given the promotion because quote unquote, they had to take care of their family. Did I happen to mention that at this time, Mary Kay Ash happened to be a mom raising three children because her first husband decided being married was not a great idea. So think about this. This woman was in the late 40s and 50s, raising three children and then being promoted because the guy had to provide for his family. Yeah, yeah, we'll just kind of leave it at that. So she wanted to actually have a place where she could enrich women's lives, help people understand what it is to own a business, but more importantly, elevate up what it is that a woman could be expected to receive compensation for her talents, for her efforts. The company over these last years have expanded to over 40 markets internationally. So we are, yes, we are a U.S. company. We are made here in the U.S. We are proud about that. Um, but we have also expanded to other markets to help other women in those markets as well be a part of enriching lives, um, including we are part of I'm a part of China. One of the reasons I'm going to quick bring that up is being in China. You know, some of us have heard about the one baby rule that they used to have understand with us being in China, the women there could prove they had income so they could have more than one baby. And as a fourth born, I'm sorry to me, that is a big old deal that there is a reason that you can have more than one baby. And I love it that we're part of a company that enriches women's lives, that we can do this. I love our products for so many, I'm to the stage I only use two products at all. Um, but I, one thing I love about our products is that we use the highest of the ingredients. If it is the European standards of safety or if it's the US, whichever one of those has the highest expectations of the ingredients, we are gonna use those, those ingredients in our products. We hold, hold more than 1500 patents for both our packaging and for the technology in our products. What's so cool about that is, is you know, they, we are constantly, our doctors, our scientists and our dermatologists are constantly finding ways to make sure that what's happening in, in the environment is actually better for our skin because the world continues to change. 
also so very, very excited is that our manufacturing here, right here in the Metroplex of Dallas, uh, Dallas Fort Worth, our manufacturing has achieved a zero landfill status. To let you know, that is something that most manufacturing companies can get nowhere, even in a ballpark. And we achieved it for our manufacturing facilities. What that means is we actually, you, we conserve more energy than what we actually take out. Things like recyclable pa payments, things like our containers, things like cleaning out our machines and actually using, as I use it, gunk to actually power the, the generators. So I love things like that. The other thing about that is we're so committed to keeping our earth green. We continue to be a part of planting trees around the world. Actually, the one millionth tree was actually planted on our site, i.e. our manufacturing site. That is where the one millionth tree that we planted to celebrate, to make sure that we keep the world green. As we recycle our packaging, we plant trees because we know that trees are just one of those things that gives back. And we like to be a company that gives back. Speaking of giving back, we are also, we also have the Mary Kay Ash Charitable Foundation that has donated over $80 million to help fund domestic violence shelters in all 50 states and helps fund research to find cures for cancers, especially those that affect women. Understand domestic violence, one out of three families will be affected by that and cancer one out of four. So we want to make sure that our products not only are good for the environment, not only good for our skin, but are also good for helping us take care of each other and making the world a better place to be. So there is a brief overview of the company, but I want to introduce you to my buddy, my friend, my national. Um, so what's going to happen is if you have not met, um, she happens on the screen that's being recorded, she happens to be the center where else would she be because she's that awesome i love that julia mundy i love it. we're going to hear more about her story but a couple things i just want to point out she has earned trips five tops five star trips earned them around the world okay she has been driving free for over 20 years Anybody, can I get an amen from anybody else that that is something that helps the budget? Mm -hmm. I also love this is because of the way that she continues to pour into people. Um, we have had over 10,000 people that have been blessed by this woman because she chose to say yes over 20 years ago. Okay, so think about the ripple effect. You're here, guest, you're here. You're part of our ripples. And this is a woman that because she chose to be brave, she is now helping us ripple and become even braver ourselves. So Julia, I'm gonna put us, I believe, we're gonna screen share. I believe we're going to be together. I believe, let's see what I can do to make sure that you and I are together. Look at that, we're side by side, at least on my screen we are, so I'm going with it. Okay, so what we're going to do, Julia, I'm going to ask you a question, so then I'd love you for, to, for you to unmute un and um, help us meet you a little bit better about this. So I told them how amazing our parts of your little amazing, that was like such a minute part of what, what it is. But Mary Kay's become big, you are, you know, 3 million plus in commissions, love that. But how did Mary Kay find you and where were you when, when Mary Kay first found you? Thank you, Mary. Thank you for hosting this tonight. We're so excited. So for me, I was a recent college graduate and I'd gotten my first real job, you know, so not a dream job, but one to pay the bills while I was hoping that the dream job would find me. And um, I just only been there a few about two months and I was already like stir crazy like the four, four walls the computer the phone I was like this cannot be why everyone was so excited to become a grown-up you know like for real and so um I was extremely shy and insecure back then I'm not as shy I can be sometimes and I do still have some of my insecurities <laughs> that I've overcome you know some of the other ones so um <laughs> But at the time I asked, I was a Mary Kay customer. And actually because my dermatologist had encouraged me to find a Mary Kay girl because he knew that they had just come out with the 
oil-free blemish control, everything line, and that he could clear up my skin, but probably I couldn't afford to stay on his, you know, prescriptions or whatever. And then I should find a Mary Kay girl. So my girlfriend in Sunday school was selling Mary Kay. She gave me a facial. I asked her if I could have a facial. My skin cleared up within two weeks. So, you know, I was like loyal to the end on that. Mm-hmm. And um, so, you know, this is about two years later now when I had graduated college and I called her and I was like, can, can I maybe do that Mary Kay thing with you? Like just on the side, I just need something fun to do like in the evening time when I'm done working. And, you know, I've, I've already done community service. I've worked out, I've, you know, but I mean, I, I want to create some cash, not just to have everything make me spend more money. <laughs> you all know what that's like. <laughs> so um, anyway, she, uh, knowing me like she did, she just said, no. <laughs> definitely no no you would not be any good doing Mary Kay because you're so shy and you know because she knew who I was and uh and she was the opposite of me well she is still the opposite of me she is tall and thin and blonde and probably has never had a blemish in her life she's one of those people we'll ask God about you know when we get there but um she was just like there's no way there's it's totally not your cup of tea like you just no and y'all I believe I mean she know she still is one of my great friends. So like she knew me so well. And so I just, I, I accepted it. Okay. So that's one lesson right there. Like, who are you listening to? Right. And so I, I just was like, well, I'm, I'm glad I asked. I'm proud of me that I asked. And you know, that's a closed door. That's not gonna be my deal. And, uh, about a month later, I went back to her and I said, can I just try, even if I'm like a total loser, <laughs> can I just try. And she was like, you, no, you always quit things. So that was her second, my second strike against me. I honestly, y'all, I looked at it as I was willing to try anything. To me, that sounded so positive. She looked at it as I quit a lot of stuff. I was like, she's so negative. <laughs> but she she was like, I don't want it to make our friendship weird. Well, neither did I. So like that tugged on my heartstrings. So I was like, okay, well then I just won't do it with you. And she said, um, but I'll try to find you somebody that would take you. So clearly, y'all, in case you might be on the line tonight or listening back later thinking, you know, we all have those days where we think, well, I'm just not all that in a bag of chips today. You know, so if you're having that kind of day, just remember, a lot of times we turn out way better than people thought, including ourselves. So that was kind of where I was, Mary. How about you? Well, now I decided to start way after you. (laughs) Um, so for me, I grew up with, I, I felt your pain on the growing up with bad skin. Okay. So um, I grew up 50 pounds heavier than I did now. So middle school, high school, I was a farm kid shipped into a city school, 50 pounds bigger than I am now with high oil acne skin. Does that give you any idea how, fun, how much fun middle school, high school was for moi? Okay. My daddy's theory was he had four girls. His theory was we were going to outgrow it. So you didn't need all that stuff. I mean, there just wasn't, a, I mean, to be fair, there just wasn't a lot of cash. So, you know, you can't show favoritism over one daughter compared to the other daughters. And since you can't do it all, we all got none. So that was kind of it. So we didn't do any of the product thing. Decades later, I'd be, I, I become a mom. And then my daughter, when she hits middle school, unfortunately, she inherits my skin. And of course, mama bear horns. I know you would never have horns, but I would have horns because I was not going to let my daughter have to go through that. Okay. So um, I was working, unlike you, I was actually working my dream job. I was actually a children and family minister. I loved it. I had a job where my kids could come and play with me. I was helping families be families. I loved my job. I loved it for all of it because I just loved it all. But the secretary at church was doing Mary Kay as a little part-time thing, like you had talked about. And she said, why don't we let Rachel try the product? And I said, sure, we can try it if it works. If it doesn't, we're just moving to the next because no brand loyalty at all. Um, Now, to be fair, Mary Kay people had tried to tell me for 17 years about this product line. They had, because, you know, you invite the church worker. I'm just saying, we get invited to parties all the time. And I will have to say the oil-free eye makeup remover, I had started using that, that I did think was awesome um, because I love mascara. I, that was what I wore. I wore mascara. That was all my makeup I wore at the time. And so all of a sudden, like you said, the Mary Kay line was great. Her skin got really good. And, you know, so it was great. And then it was like, well, if it works for my daughter, maybe I should 
try it. So then I tried it and it's like, oh, this stuff is pretty good. And so then mathematically, it made a lot of sense for me because it's like, wait a second. If you start a business, you get to buy it for half. There's two of us that want this. Okay, church working is fun, but it's not exactly your most highest paying job you're ever going to work for, just for the record. It's a great job, just not a lot of income. And it's like, wait, this could really save me a lot of money. So that's why I started. I basically, instead of, <laughs> I kind of signed myself up on her team <laughs> because it was like, hey, mathematically, this works. Is there any reason why I can't be on your team? And she goes, well, I guess not. And I said, great. So we signed me up. So that, so I kind of signed myself up. Um, not that I was ever going to do it. Actually, I was so good at not telling anybody that I was in it. Um, it actually took about four months for my skin started to tattle on me before people started asking me what I was doing. They were accusing me of coloring my hair, going on a diet. And then I would finally go, well, I guess I'm washing my face now. And they go, well, what are you using? And so that's actually how I started selling the product that my skin tattled on me. Um, and I, I had to always call my sales director and go, can I sell, uh, they want this, what is that? Cause I, I only knew the products that I, you know, my four bottles for my skincare line, I knew, and mascara. I knew the four, four bottles of the skincare and mascara. That's all I knew. So if anybody wanted anything else, somebody else had to tell me what to do because I didn't know anything about it because I didn't use anything else. So that, that's how we found me is because like you, there was a skincare need. And I love it that Mary Kay has a skincare company that helps us find needs um, and that we can help meet that. So then my next question is you. Okay, so I wasn't a big makeup girl. Were you a makeup girl before Mary Kay? I was not. I wore um, mascara and lip gloss if it was an important day, um, press powder or loose powder. But I, because my skin had always been an issue, the mm -hmm. last thing I wanted to do was draw attention to really any of it. <laughs> and so uh, that was actually one of my questions was how in the world am I going to teach other people how to like put on eyeshadow and stuff when I don't even wear it like to a wedding even, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, and they assured me, you know, in your starter kit comes all the instructions and we suggest different colors to go together. And, you know, you'll have access to all of that to play with for yourself so you can mm -hmm. be the advertisement. And so I had that question. And I also had a question about how would I fit it into my schedule mm -hmm. and, they reassured me that all of that, all of that plus more was mm -hmm. a part of the free training mm -hmm. um, that was ongoing mm -hmm. with my sales director and, and our unit or our team. I was like, oh, well, I can learn anything. Right. So like if they're not just going to give me the case and send me out into the world and say, good luck and God bless, I surely can learn. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it might take me a while to master but I can learn. So, so that was me. I was not, I definitely did not glue on eyelashes every day and put, you know, all that. No. Mm -hmm. And, and I, and I can feel you on that. Um, for those there, there's a few people actually on the screen that knew me pre Mary Kay. Um, I agree. There was mascara and lip gloss was safe for Christmas and Easter enough. So that the day that I retired from Mary retired from the church, which wasn't Christmas or Easter. I actually had a, a, one of the ladies come up to me and said, I knew something was special going on because you're wearing lip gloss today. That's how much it was known that I did not wear makeup. Um, and so you're right. I love it that this is a company that teaches us how to do it. Um, I do my, probably my favorite story about them teaching me how to wear makeup. Um, I actually, Julia, I think you were actually teaching the class. You had invited us to a highlighting and contouring class. And I literally turned to the girl next to me and said, why would we put a yellow highlighter on my face? Because there was such terms that I had no idea what they even were or what we ever did. Um, so I love it that this is a place that A, you learn how to do it, but then you can also teach the skill. But it's like, you know, but the confidence that it gives us, you know, that we can learn any skill. I love that as well. Okay, so speaking of personal growth, speaking, what, um, what, what other growth? Okay, obviously you learned how to wear makeup because you wear it stunningly. I love that. And your Makeup Mondays are so much fun for us to follow on social media. Thank you for that. But what else has Mary Kay taught you personally? So much. So clearly I was even younger than I am now when I started. And um, 
what my friend had write about me was the most consistent thing about me was my inconsistency in every area of life. So I would start eating healthy and stop. I'd start working out and stop. I'd start Bible study and I'd stop. I'd start, I'm going to be at work 30 minutes early at my desk. I'd stop. And um, so that really was de felt defeating to me that I couldn't seem to have consistent victories in anything. And so it was, it was already, God was already revealing to me that um, willpower alone was not going to be enough for me. Uh, there, there had to be some other piece, you know, that I was missing. Um, so in my Mary Kay training, which I mentioned was free every single week, they had training. And um, so much was taught about, like I mentioned, time management, application of skincare and cosmetics, uh, money management making it and keeping it, you know, so you can either spend it or save it or give it away or whatever you want to do with it. Um, how to, how to dress as someone, a woman who's confident and feels beautiful in her body. My body has been so many sizes and I have all the clothes and receipts to share, share <laughs> about that, but learning, you know, how can I feel great about me wh wherever I may be, um, with, uh, no kids with babies that are really ill with littles, with, you know, all the things, um, all now my kids are grown, you know? And so all of the different seasons of life, the skills that if you just thought of a woman who you consider to be successful, that could be different, a different picture for all of us. Um, but for me, that confidence piece was big because I knew I didn't have any, <laughs> I really wanted some, um, money, so I, I'm, I know everybody feels different about money, y'all, but I, I knew if I had money, I would have less stress and more choices. And that's why I wanted money, right? I, I wanted to be able to give it, donate, spend it, save for vacations, all that. And, um, and I really, I wanted to prove to myself that I could do that consistency thing in all the ways. And so that was like my fifth training, Mary Kay. I came home and I remember thinking like, so after five trainings, the whole key, this was my takeaway, the whole key to becoming a success in my Mary Kay business was consistency for every single area, going to the meeting, making my phone calls or reach outs, uh, holding parties and facials, sharing the, the uh, opportunity along with the product, um, my affirmations every day. Um, so that all those areas that I began to build consistency in bled over in a good way to other areas like my workout and my food and my healthy choices and my quiet time and my confidence. Um, but I will tell y'all, in my opinion, if you think you can grow in consistency without tracking it, I would say you're probably deceiving yourself about other things too. And so y'all, I'm not like a neat freak, but I do not like things on my kitchen counter. Is anybody else like that? Like I like the kitchen to look decorated and anybody could come in and have a cup of coffee and we don't have to worry about it at any moment. Since. So what I had to do y'all was I tracked everything in a spiral, all those things I just said, and it had to stay on my kitchen counter, not my desk. Because there were days that I might not walk into my Mary Kay office, you know, if I was holding a party or work late or whatever, but I was always going to be in the kitchen, right? <laughs> and so that it irritated the fire out of me that it was sitting on that counter. And that's what made me go pick it up every day and look at, well, dang, I hadn't gotten to put anything in that column or in that column or, and so that was my, if you want to call it a life hack, um, was, you know, we irritating myself to success. So, so many things, but most all of them came from consistency and tracking the, the activity to become consistent. How about you, Mary? Um, for me, like I said, I had, I, I was actually at a dream job. I had done my college. I had worked my way up to the top of things. So there was confidence, but it was confidence in a different way. Um, as I said, this whole girl, this whole being confident and being created in his image, female image, um, was like, ooh. What, it, what was that? Um, being raised as a tomboy, um, having bad skin, you know, having, you know, being told you couldn't be on a cheerleader because you weren't the correct size or 
nice enough skin, one of the two, or probably both. Um, and so all these things that went in, entailed to being a female, I, I mean, that if there was a growth point for me, there's a lot of that, that it's like, oh, you know, there, yes, you know what, there is something about the confidence of how you dress. For me, it was remembering helping people see the beauty in the mirror. And you know, beauty in the mirror can be a size zero and it can be a size 40. It's not a size thing. It is, it can be people that are barely four feet tall and it can be the girl who's six, eight. Um, it doesn't matter. It is, it is that confidence of being assured that you're made in the image of God. I mean, for me, it was really kind of cool. Like here I am, I'm working in churches and things like that. But it was taking that next step, you know, I joke that, you know, if, if Paul could build, if he could build tents and share the gospel, well, why can't I teach somebody to wash their face? Because you know what? He was providing a need. He was fulfilling a need, shelter. I feel Mary Kay is really awesome because it helps us understand who we be. And so what I found though, that it was that growth point for me remembering who I be um, you know I'm looking at some of the photos of when you know when I started in Mary Kay you know and now as I've grown into a pink Cadillac sales director it's like <laughs> and you know don't do not underestimate that miracles do not still happen in the in the 20s okay I'm just gonna 2000s miracles still do happen I love that and I loved it's not that I became somebody different I became more of what God created me to be and I love that, that this is a company that we get to put God first, family second, career third, but we're not asking Carla to become Amy or Judy to become Cheryl. We're asking us each to become the best version of ourselves. And as that happens, guess what? We mom different. We sister different. We drive different. And those of us who live in the Metroplex kind of just say we need more Barry K people in the Metroplex because we need some better drivers. Um, but it's just that assurance of who we be and being, you know, for me, as you can tell, it, it, it instantly kind of hit a soapbox pretty fast for me on that because I remember looking in the mirror and not liking what I saw. I mean, I can remember that that it's like, oh, whatever, let's just get past the mirror, get the teeth brushed, technically the hair is calm, boom, we're out of here. Because to me, it wasn't something where I reflected who God be. And now it's like, okay, you know what? God, you made me in your image. Where do I get to shine for you today? And as, and I realized it was kind of taking some of that layer of gook. And so, yeah, it's through skincare, but it's also that repeating to people. That's who you be. And you know what? There, you, you said it earlier. Who are you listening to? We get to be that voice of reminding people they're awesome and amazing. We get to be that voice of saying, hey, every day, twice a day, while you're doing this, you're blessed and highly favored. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? There is so much noise. So much noise that people can get caught up in. Let us be that voice. And so for me, that is probably part of what I just love about what Mary Kay, because, you know, it gave me a reason to be on my soapbox, but what a positive reason to be on my soapbox. And to me, it's that ripples, it ripples that, that helps makes it happen. Okay. One final question before we kind of let people know how they can join us. Why? Okay. You and I both have been in the company more than 10 years. Let's just, let's just play with that math. Let's just be nice. Okay. Um, why now? Why, why, why for you? You answer it first. Why do you think people should come join us in 2021? Not like now, end of June. Why now? Great question. I, I clearly, I've been building my business for 29 years. So clearly I've gotten some of the consistency thing down. <laughs> um, however, some of that's because of the rewards that come from consistency, right? So um, not just making a living, but creating a life and a life for my family and a future, you know, and savings and all those things, travel, fun stuff. Um, if it was that good 29 years ago, of course, the product has improved. Mary Kay's commitment to increasing the, not just the commission structure, but the bonus structure as well at every level of the career path. 
Um, always, we've all been able to make 50% of everything we sell, which also means, of course, we get to shop from ourselves at a 50% discount. So I, with the, with the economy and coming out of COVID, people have learned that what they might have thought was their security in a job, a corporation, a future, a 401k, or whatever, there are simply some things out of our control that we could not have forecasted. And so to me, Mary Kay is the most secure business you could start because number one, you're in charge of it. You do it as much or as little as you want to. Um, there are no quotas or territories. There is no requirement except one order a year. And the other thing is you can do it differently in different seasons, depending on what you and your family want. There is a digital only option for if you're, if where you live is still mostly virtual. There's also the in-person kit with all of the, Mary's going to show you pictures of that, all the full size products over $400 in this hundred dollar beautiful bag. Y'all, it cost me a hundred dollars and the bag wasn't as beautiful and we did not get full size products. So like what I'm telling you is if it was that good then, and I've been able to create this kind of life, like I wouldn't even question it because the other thing is it's consumable. And, and to me, you would want to be wise if you were going to invest your time and energy in building a business. You would want it to be something that people would continue to need or want you. And here's the deal, y'all. I love our products. I believe bar none, they are the best, especially for their price point. The truth, though, is there's lots of great skincare and cosmetics out there. The reason people will be drawn to you is because of you and the relationship you build with them. So if perhaps you're not sure if you even want a business or want it to be skincare or cosmetics, but you just know that you're good with people, people like you, you've got a lot of friends, acquaintances, people just seem drawn to you. It don't matter if you've never, or I've never sold anything. The one retail job I had, I was fired from because in three months I sold nothing. So if anything, I should have been worried about myself starting a Mary Kay business, right? So, but I was great with people. I love people. Now, I don't know if that was great with them, but I love them. And so I wanted to know them and ask questions and how are they? And there's just something magical that happens when someone is actually interested in you and they want to do business with you and they want to do life with you. So I just want to reassure you of that, that if you've ever tried another business and you felt like it didn't go the way you wanted it to, and now perhaps you're doubting yourself, two things. Number one, perhaps you did not have the mentoring and coaching that we provide for free in Mary Kay, where we really do believe we're better together. And number two, I would urge you to consider, perhaps those were your practice sessions for the lineup to the actual Super Bowl game, right? Like, what a shame it would be if we decided something for our future based only on our past. Your history does not have to equal your destiny unless you choose that. So I want to encourage you just to give yourself a chance. Mary, how about you? For me, uh, amen. Can I just say amen everything you said? The other thing is right now, let's be honest. Um, you are listening in. It is the end of the seminar year. Okay, let's not be under any sort of delusion. If you do not know that as guest, guest, the Mary Kay year goes July 1 to June 30th. Okay, let me assure you, this is kind of like April 15th, normal years. Um, it is a big old deal. Um, and so part of it is, is one, it's a deadline. Your girl, your Mary Kay person is absolutely pursuing trying to shut down something. And she's invited you to be a part of the win. Okay, so one, why now? Because, well, it's the end of the year. So I want to be, I want to assure you, why now? Because like there's a deadline. Okay, so if you're like me, sometimes a deadline does make the heart beat a little faster. Okay, the other part is, um, I'm going to go to my share screen here. Um, because Julia, you did talk about it, that we did have a couple options. Um, so one is what we call our e-start. Our e-start is $30. You get to get your, your website that Mary Kay maintains. Can I just say, as somebody who works with computers, um, having them maintain it all is perfect, and they do. They take care of it all. So you get your website for the year and a way to process plastic so they can use it. Um, so the another reason right now is 
we have not been told that this is going on past June 30th, okay? Us be able to start your business for $30, there is a distinct possibility that that could be today through the 30th, and then that is no longer an option. Now, granted, Julie and I both started for this beautiful $100 thing, and when you get way over $400 worth of product, can I say that is still a great value? I do not care how you do the math. Um, it is awesome. We do get full-size product. It's a designer looking bag. There's everything in it. And Julia also re related to the, the free training. Okay. Most people will say, well, if it's free, it's not that good. Did I tell you that it's free because we're willing to stretch out a hand and bring advice along? Did you have to pay your grandma for the advice that she gave you about cooking? I don't think so, but did she teach you how to make something totally amazing? And most of us have had, you know, grandma or mom teach us something how to cook and uh, it's way beyond free. You do not need to pay for it. You just really wish you could pay for it, right? So just to kind of let you know, these are some of our options on our starter kits to let you know in some of that. So I just kind of want to point that out. The other thing that neither Julie or I, I just thought about this. The other thing that attracted me to this business Okay, besides being able, the no quotas, the half off, okay, math, all of that's working. They also give us an exit strategy. So if it doesn't work, can I get an amen from somebody else that you can have a lot of confidence if you have a safety net under you? You know, I'm willing to try some things. I know if there's a safety net, you know, I've been known to jump off tall, tall towers because they have me tethered in that even if I fall, I don't actually fall. So I can do crazy things like that. So one thing I love about our business is at any point, if we want to exit stage right, we can always just stop ordering. Okay. You can always just stop, but it's like, oh no, I don't want to just stop. I just, I, I want to go away. I want to completely go away. Mary Kay will buy back your business. This even talk for somebody with Julia or me, somebody that has been in for decades, they will buy back our last 12 months of our business at 90% of what we paid. For those of us who have funded people through college, yourself or anyone else, would it not have been great if you would have gotten 90% if you would not have wanted to stick with that gym job? It's not because the job isn't there. It's because you don't want to be in it anymore. Would that not be a nice? It's not, oh, well, you're not standing on the right leg and you don't have your hand over your head and you're too tall or you're too short. No, they, you say you want out, you ship it back. They write you a check. That I, I'm taught that's, that's confidence. That's confidence. They know this business works. That confidence that they know that, hey, you want out, it's better. I can work with us. So that to me is just another reason to be in. So guest, guest, um, I want to send it back to Julia. She's going to give you a chance to put yourself tonight, tonight, right now, while you're listening. Um, what are you thinking about joining your person's team? So Julia, can I send it back to you? Can you let us hear what it is to possibly join tonight? Yes. So are, Mary, I want to make sure I'm following you. Are we talking about the ABC? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> oh, see, anybody can be a national, drive a free car, all the things. So um, this really helped me, you guys. When I was a guest, um, I actually happened to be in a large hotel room hearing all of this instead of the comfort of my own home. And um, But it still resonated with me to have these choices. Because, you know, sometimes something sounds good, but you're just not sure yet. So if you'll think of this scale, as far as your interest level in a Mary Kay business as the letters A, B, C, or D. Okay. So A would be, oh my gosh, Julia, for $30 or even 130 if I want to do in-person and virtual. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Like just sign me up. I'm in, right? B would be, mm, some of it sounds good, but maybe you might need to bribe me. Buy me a cup of coffee. Tell me a little bit more. That would be B. C would be, I'll just see you at the next fun thing, right? I'm going to be a happy customer. And D would be, don't even think about it. Like, no, 
talk to the hand. I do not ever, never, I'll be a happy customer. I'll host a party, but no, 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 not for me. So A, absolutely. B, bribe me or buy me a cup of coffee. C, see you at the next event or happy customer. And D is don't even think about it. So you definitely, you want to either put in the chat or text your consultant right now what your thought is about that scale. Hey, Julia, how about if we upgraded even? Okay, let's upgrade. I love upgrades. I know. Uh, anybody else like me love upgrades? So how about if we do this? If tonight's the night that, hey, that deadline's almost here, okay? And it's like, yes, why not? I've done crazier things for $30. If you say I'm in, how about we give away tonight a virtual start for my personal favorite price of free? I love free 99. I mean, 0 99 is good, but free 99 is even better. So if tonight is a yes, I want to join, just put over I'm in. And if you're in, we're going to take care of your $30 starter kit. If you decide to do the 130, We'll still take care of $30 of it. How does that sound? Is anybody going to get an amen from that? So that if you're in, you're in. You can either private message your consultant, consultants, make sure that you let us know. Um, but I also would like to give away a little bit of uh, freebies to our guest. So, Miss Cheryl, can you take care of our guests tonight for us? I'd love to bring you on spotlight. You give away some goodies to our guests tonight. You're muted. By hey everybody, <laughs> thanks for joining us tonight. I know your uh, uh, consultant really appreciates just you uh, supporting her, especially now with um, it being the last three and a half days of the seminar year. So um, thank you for being on. So I have Desia and I have um, Cherie in here for a free product. Mary, I'm not sure what it is. Um, well, okay, since Julie and I both started with mascara, I'm thinking oh. it should be mascara because, well, apparently it is the best entry drug. I mean, it's the best entry product. <laughs> but what girl doesn't love a mascara? So Cherie has won the mascara. Congratulations, Cherie. Woo excellent, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I totally appreciate that. Let me remove your spotlight since I know all of us love being big on the screen. It's our favorite part of helping with the meeting. I can tell. So being a part of that. Okay. So guests, thank you for being a part of us tonight. Thank you for being part of the process. I hope you were blessed. I hope you were blessed for hearing the stories. I hope you were blessed to hear your con to hear the confidence in your consultant as she invited you. I will also just say, you never know what you don't know. If you would have asked me a week before I signed my beauty agreement, if I would ever sell Mary Kay, even though I was a church worker, there could have been some very creative language in my notes. Um, because this was so outside my parameters. But I will tell you, kind of like most miracles and most biblical stories, God's going to take you through a journey of something you never knew you would do to allow him to meet you on a miracle. So guest, I will just put it out there. What's the worst that's going to happen? And consultants, I'm going to continue to say to you, who is God asking you to keep asking to be a part of his miracles? Because you know what? I totally believe miracles still happen, but like Mary, like Esther, like all the characters of the Bible, we have to be brave and step into them. Because when we look in the mirror, when we're being asked, let's be like Moses, uh, who me? How about make sure my brother's with me? because I ain't doing this alone. So I just want to personally thank each of you for being on screen tonight. Julia, as always, thank you for being you. Thank you for your story. Thank you for your inspiration. Mm -hmm. Cheryl, thank you for helping us tonight. Guest, again, let me tell you, you make us better. So thank you for being a part of us. I hope you continue to open up your heart for maybe it's you. And if it's not you, 
you probably know somebody that they need to be a part of this. And so thank you for being that recruiter, that hearer for your consultant. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you all. You guys all have an amazing evening. Thank you for peeking into pink with us tonight. You guys had a, a totally ma magnificent pink night and I look forward to seeing you as we cross this finish line together. Thank you, Mary, for doing this for us. Mwah. Love y'all so much. Can't wait.